Hello, my name is Ava. Welcome back. We're here to um, read Proverbs 5. Amen. And then we're going to go back over it and highlight some, uh, some verses for you. Amen. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Chapter 5. My son, attend to my wisdom and bow your ear to my understanding, that you may regard discretion, that your lips may keep knowledge, for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her bitter, but her end is bitter, excuse me, as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Lest you should ponder the path of life, her ways are movable that you cannot know them. Hear me not, therefore, you children, and depart from the words of my mouth. And depart not from the words of my mouth, excuse me. Remove your way from her, and keep not near the door of her house. Lest you give your honor to others, and your years to the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with your wealth, and your labors be in the house of a stranger. And you mourn at the last when your flesh and body are consumed. And say, how have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of your own cistern, and run the waters out of your own well. Let your fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only yours, your own, excuse me, and not strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. Let not her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Her breast satisfy you at all times. Let her breast satisfy you at all times. And be you ravished always with her love. And why will you, my son, be ravished with a strange woman? and embrace the bosom of a stranger. For the way of a man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders on all his goings. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be held with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and the greatness of his folly shall go astray. Proverbs chapter 5. Amen. This has given us a lot of instruction again. And it's not only just for men, but also for women, as we know. The Bible is for all of us. And the first few verses in chapter 5, it talks about beware of lust in chapter 5, verse 1 through 6. And then chapter 5 in, in Proverbs is 7 through 23. It talks about lust versus love. We have a lot of lust out here in this world. Amen. That's why it's so important, amen, to apply the word, not only read the word, but apply it and, and get understanding. We talked about yesterday about how we need to get an understanding. Wisdom is a principal thing, and, and therefore get wisdom, and, and with all get understanding. We need to get that. But the main thing in this time and day, in this era of our lives, amen, we need to get in the Word. We need to get in Proverbs. And it says in verse 1, it says, My son, attend to my wisdom and bow your ear to my understanding. That's talking about understanding now. We have got to attend to wisdom. Learn about it. Get in tune with the Spirit of God. Get in tune with what He's saying for us, the instruction that He's given us. And then He also tells us that um, 
Let your lips keep knowledge. You know, we need to keep, you know, whatever come out of our mouths, amen, let it be knowledgeable. We need to, whatever we get in and whatever we speak, amen, that should be a reflection of what we have gotten in our spirit from the word of God and spending time with God. And it's telling us, uh, like, you know, we were saying about the lust, it's talking about the first part about the woman, the strange woman. It's a lot of strange women out here. It's a lot of strange men. But he's just using this as an example. And it's so true for today. It's so many uh, people that are getting caught up with that strange woman or that strange man. And it says that, you know, we're curious about the paths of, of, of this person. And this person is, is, is not stable. You know, they're, they're just out and about trying to get, get in, you know, get you at your vulnerable state. And it tells us to remove far from that, from that, uh, from that person and come not near the door of their house. You know, it's so important that we um, take this seriously because there's so many people that are caught up with the strange woman, the strange, uh, you know, being deceived by so many strange uh, uh, spirits that are floating around in, 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 in this life. You know, it talks about in 16, it said, let your fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the streets. And let them be your own and not, it, not strangers with you. And let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. You know, that's your blessing. Drink out your own cistern. You know, embrace your wife, your husband. Love her as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy you. You need to be satisfied by your own wife, your, your own husband. You know, so many men and women that are out here looking after other husbands, after other women, you know, in the church, outside the church. And it also talks about, and why will you, my son, be ravished? Why are you intoxicated with this strange woman? And why would you even want to embrace a stranger, somebody you don't even know? You don't even know this person. Because, and, and then down in uh, chapter, in verse 21, it says, For the ways of, of man are before the eyes of the Lord. So God sees everything you do. Everything. Don't think you're getting away with it. Because you're not. It says, um, His own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be held with the cords of his sins. That's self-explanatory there. And you'll die without instruction. And in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. You know, we don't want that for ourselves. Amen? It's so important in this day, in this hour, amen, to, to stay upright before God. It's a, it's, we have to work out, our, work, out, work out our salvation daily. That's something that we have to do every day, is work out our salvation Stay in tune with God's spirit. Then you say, how do I do this? You know, how do I understand this word? What is this word saying to me? You know, like I said before, you know, we, this is the time that we've got to pray, to pray, pray, and pray without ceasing. And get in the word of God. The word of God is, you know, it's, it's you know, ask God for the understanding and the interpretation of it. And he will help you. This is a, a real thing, and this is not only for uh, the Christians. This is for unbelieving, non-believers as well, mainly. It's time to, uh, if you don't know Christ, it's time to get with Christ, to get with the Father, to ask Him to help you with direction so you can get out of the things that you're in and not to be caught up with the strange woman, not to get caught up in lust, because that's why so much, uh, so many diseases going on, so many... Uh, uh, killer diseases that's out there now. So it's time now to stay in tune with God's spirit. Amen. So if you haven't accepted Christ as your personal savior, this is the time to do it. Amen. I thank God for you listening. 
uh, you need to get in John 3.16 and get in the Word of God and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. God bless you.